What is up everyone? Danny here again with another pro tip for Monster Hunter. Today I will be talking about the immunizer and what it means in relation to the Rotten Veil, vale, that area. Now I'm going to show you a couple things that uh, it's this is more of a quality of life kind of tip this isn't really anything that will enhance your gameplay but this will help with probably like a 5% chance of your success rate now as you see as I spend time in the rotten veil you'll see that my life is slowly ticking away you'll see that there's red growing on my life bar. Now, I don't know about a lot of you, but not all of us have the Fatalis armor set. And I tell you what, I worked my butt off to get it. So not all of you are running around with 200 to your life. I happen to be because I have the set. But that's neither here nor there. This isn't what this is about. This is about the immunizer. Now, this is a thing that really gets irritating at times is when you're in the rotten veil, your life will be ticking down. And as you fall into combat with random monsters or say a wyvern, your life will get knocked down substantially if you keep taking damage. Now this is a bad example because I'm equipped with a sword that regenerates my health with every attack. So this is kind of a bad example, but as you see, I'm dancing around these gyros and my life is still ticking down. They're not hitting me, but if they do hit me, all of that red that's right there is going to disappear. That's what makes this a pretty helpful quality of life tip. Now check this out. I'm about to hit the immunizer. Ooh, don't interrupt. And boom, now all that red has turned yellow. And what that yellow means is that is now faster regenerating health that I am missing. Now if I still get hit, I do lose that yellow, but it's slowly regenerating. It regenerates to the point to where I'm not losing health now. As you see, my health is still dropping, but the points have been fractioned massively. The funny thing about the immunizer is it's really easy to acquire. Here, let me run into this safe spot around the corner and I'll show you. Now just roaming around in the Rotten Vale, I was able to find, and I will show you in my item pouch, I was able to find some honey and some bitter bug. Not only that, but I found some mandragora. These three components are very important if you want to make immunizer. First you make the catalyst by con combining the honey and the bitter bug. And then from there you have a catalyst and you combine that with a mandragora and you have an immunizer. Let's show you on the crafting list here. Boom, catalyst. You create that and then with a mandragora, boom. Now this ties into pro tip about the canteen and rations. Well actually it's just pro tip three rations. I do mention this, that if you talk to the chef and give them something to oven roast, you can end up with catalyst and immunizer. Let me take a quick trip to the camp and I will show you. All right. At camp if you don't have something already oven roasted okay this is silly you don't have anything oven roasted you can go to the canteen part and select oven roast now from here 
You will want to farm wet fish fin and sushi fish scale. Let me tell you why. Because the wet fish fin can give you, you see how three of those are orangish question marks and then you have two gray ones? Well, those two gray ones are random items that you can get that aren't rations. The three orange will always become rations. Now those two gray ones, they're not always going to be random like you're going to get something wild. It's always predetermined by the item you put in. With the wet fish, I believe you get energy drinks or catalyst. You either get one catalyst, one energy drink, or two energy drinks, or two catalysts. You're always going to get that whenever you use the wet fish fin. Now with the sushi fish scale, you bypass the need for catalyst and sometimes it'll just give you the two immunizers. Sometimes it just gives you one. And then other times you just get two of the medicinal or the herbal medicine, which is, I believe, this item here. Herbal medicine. Yes, you get a chance to get two or one of those or none at all. If you're lucky, you get two immunizers in its place. Hopefully that helps you out in your journeys. It's not so much an item you use high level or high ranking, I should say. This is more for when you're starting out and you're still farming or if you're in the mid-range hunter rank and you're having a hard time with some of the the more advanced beasts that are in this area so i hope that helps out uh don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video if you didn't like it leave a comment tell me how i could improve this if you liked it and want to leave a comment please tell me what you liked about it all of this helps me as well as helps the video find its place in the algorithm so with that said depending on where in the world you are have a good morning a good day or a good evening take care and i'll see you next time with another monster hunter pro tip danny out